So good evening once again, everyone. Thanks for being here tonight. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, tonight, I, I'm, I, I want to talk about the pop out of the box pattern. And this has been one of those patterns that um, is easily identifiable and can really make you a lot of money. In fact, Gwen has just posted in the chat room to all the newbies. This is a great pattern and I have uh, profited from it. And I think there's probably a lot of folks uh, from Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options that have profited from this pattern. And I wanted to take some time to go over it. I get a lot of questions from new folks about these patterns. You know, what are they? What What's this all about? So I thought I'd take some time. Last time during the public webinar, we talked about the pullback opportunity. And tonight I want to talk about the pop out of the box pattern. So let's go ahead and dig in. And I'm not going to spend any time on slides tonight. In fact, this is the only slide you're going to see. I want to just go straight to the charts. And before I jump into the charts, I'm actually going to bring up just a black screen here. And I want to talk about what that pattern looks like. So when we're looking at the market, <clears throat> And for anyone who doesn't understand this, please let me know if you, um, if I confuse you in any way or there's a question, please feel free to ask it because I don't feel like I'm doing my job helping you understand something if, if you don't get your questions asks, or asked and answered. So I want to answer as many of those as I can as, as we go along because sometimes it can be you know, if you get behind or you get confused, it's hard to catch up. So please feel free to ask those at any time. Now, one of the first things about the pop out of the box pattern, it requires a trend. So first off, we need some kind of a trend. Now, first, let me define what I believe where a trend begins and where a, um, uh, where a trend ends. So when I'm looking at a stock and I've seen the, the market or that stock has been moving down, I need to see that first rally, that first pullback or consolidation, and a higher low placed in the market with buyers stepping in. Now, what do I mean by buyer stepping in? I get that question all the time. What do you mean by buyer stepping in? Well, we all know what a buy signal looks like, right? It's a bullish engulfing candle. It's a morning star pattern. It's a kicker pattern. It's something bullish that shows that we're stepping in and we're holding on to a level of price support, okay? But what's more important than that is it establishes the first part of the trend. That's where we first get evidence of a possible trend moving on. And all through, through that trend, we're looking for these patterns as that trend stretches out. We're looking for these price patterns that just continue to process the trend. Now, what I drew here is this pullback opportunity trade that we talked about last week or the last public meeting. Now I want to talk about the next pattern in this group that I use a lot, and that's after the stock has moved up, and then it consolidates in a very tight consolidation over toward the trend. I call this a pop out of the box, and I'll explain that in just a second. So trend continues, and this is my philosophy behind everything I do in my trading is I don't want to predict the market. I don't even try to predict the market anymore. What I do is I wait for these two patterns to develop, either a pullback opportunity, holding trend, or a pop out of the box pattern, and then I see those buyers stepping in. So that's where the trend begins, and I'm always focusing on these two patterns as long as the stock is trending. Now, where does the stock no longer trend? I get that question a lot. What happens when things start going wrong. Well, for me, the trend breaks here. And unless that stock can back can get back up here and recover that trend relatively quickly, we're likely going to get some kind of a failure here at a lower high, double top high. This is the end of the uptrend. And the end of the uptrend doesn't end until here 
because we can always bounce back, right? We've seen that a lot in the market where we bounce back up, hold it as support, and then keep going higher. Okay? But the uptrend ends here, and the downtrend begins here. Not here. This is not the beginning of the downtrend. The downtrend begins at that lower high failure. Okay? Now this pattern I'm talking about is, is um, a low risk entry pattern. It's one of the reasons I love it so much is because it provides low risk entries into trades. Okay? That place where we get that nice tight consolidation. So I call it a pop out of the box because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that stock to set up a range that's relatively small. So I'm going to draw, you know, this box like this. And let's just imagine that we have price candles populating this area in here. Little doji candles, little spinning tops, all that kind of thing. And we're consolidating in here. Now, the rules for the pop out of the box. The way we I look for them is I want this range between the top of the box and the bottom of the box to be no more than around 3%. Now, why is that? If we get this wide ranging move in here where it's really choppy, that means I'm risking a tremendous amount to where my stop loss would be. Okay, so as long as this pattern shows up within an existing trend, if the trend is up, I'm going to be looking for that stock to pop out of the box at the top. The reason is, is because trend is up. Trend is supporting that move. If the trend is down, I want to be watching for this to fail out of that box, out of that nice little tight consolidation, and re continuing on with its, the downtrend. Okay? Now, the pop out of the box pattern doesn't occur until there are at least four days in this tight consolidation. Or four periods, I should say. So whatever time frame that you're looking at, we need at least four days or four periods in this tight consolidation. Okay? And the reason that is, is there's actually a candlestick pattern out there called the map hold pattern, or mat hold, not map hold, mat hold pattern that's actually a move up three little tiny resting days, and then we follow on through to the upside. That's a mat hold pattern. This, this pop out of the box pattern actually gets stronger the longer a stock stays in that consolidation. Oftentimes when we come across those stocks that are in that tight consolidation, we just blow right on past them. We don't pay attention to that because it's boring, it's not moving, it's not doing anything. But let me explain why this is one of my favorite patterns to trade. So if I have this nice trend, and within that trend, that stock has been moving up, pulling back, moving up, and then does this nice consolidation in here. Okay. This is an easy pattern to really make the trade come to you. Okay. And what I mean by making the trade come to you okay, is that I can actually place a price alert on this chart and wait for that signal when it pops. I don't have to watch it every day. It, it comes into play, I get the alert, I can make the trade. Now, there's a couple other things in here that are really key. If you get a pop out of the box, and by the way, this range here, Maybe I just blew this up really big and there's only four days of price action in that wide, wide area. Okay, maybe there's two weeks in this area. If that pop comes early in the trade, before we come back over here to trend, it can mean that the trend trajectory is changing. But as we've seen a lot of, it can also mean that we pop back up, we turn back around, and we continue this consolidating pullback 
over to the trend before we actually move on up. Seen that a lot lately, false breakouts. Breakouts that break out well before the trend. That pop comes and then the stock still needs to rest or consolidate and pull back. It's a little bit of a false breakout, traps you into the trade. Now, the second reason I love these trades is because when that pop occurs over here near the trend, I can enter that trade with a stop loss very close. Because if you think about a tight price range, what does that price range tell you? It tells you that there's no buyers above this area. There's no sellers below this area. So if there's no sellers below here, the stock is in an uptrend and the stock pops out of here, I have the opportunity to enter a trade with low risk in the trade. And I can tell you, if you get the convergence of a pop out of the box and a trend, your probabilities of a winning trade are extremely high. Easily over 70% of these trades work. And the reason that is, is because everyone identifies it. When the stock pops, then people jump onto this train. Now that doesn't mean we can't pop up one day, get that fussy little consolidation here for a couple more days and then continue on. Okay, but it typically works out as a winning trade because the pressure on this stock is higher. No one wanted to sell it through this entire period. Okay. Uh, Z, the top, the top can have varying levels in there. If you get, uh, normally I don't want to see really big wicks or tails in a pop out of the box pattern. I want to see relatively small wicks or tails. I don't want to see those big spiking moves. Now, oftentimes, if you have a longer term, if that stock has moved up quickly and we get that quick pop over here, you'll oftentimes see those big wicks and tails on candles in this early period. And then they fade into this nice tight consolidation over here. That volatility drops out of them. As an option trader, that's great because we can catch these trades when the volatility is low and then we get that pop of implied volatility enhancing the profits in our option trades. So it's a fantastic pattern to look for. Finding the consolidations, I'm going to show you that here in a bit, uh, David. Now, I used to do it just by eye. I, I just have a watch list of stocks that I watch all the time. Okay, I'd take this watch list of stocks and I would move through that list every single day, two or three times a day, looking for these patterns, looking for stocks that are trending. I sort my list by only stocks that are trending. And then I would look for those trending patterns to develop. And they happen all the time. If you take a look at a chart like MCD, By the way, you can see MCD is in my watch list here. Can you guys see the pop out of the box patterns right here that have developed in this price range? First, we have trend. We have a beautiful move in this uptrend. We get these push up, pull back, and then all of a sudden, notice how right over in here, this price action tightens up right here in this range. We get that nice tight range. I just place a price alert on the chart and wait for that to occur. And notice we get that, that move that kind of corresponds to the trend. That's when that pop occurs. Now, I don't want anybody to think that you get immediate gratification in these because as you can see, we took this pop and what did we do right here? Popped, rested three days before it decided to move on up. So they don't have to be immediate gratification, but we have a low risk entry into the trade because our, our alert here tells us where this possible entry is. Okay. 
and our stop loss goes right underneath that consolidation. And I say underneath, I drew that line and you can see it, that tail as it falls below. I want my stop loss to be below that consolidation. Because if the stock has to pull back again and test, I want it to be able to test that support and still have that opportunity to move up. That's why I want that range to be tight. I want that range of no more than 3%. Because if I have 5, 6, 8, 10% in this real choppy, swingy price action in here, my risk to my stop loss is greater than I want to take. I don't want to take those trades. I'm very picky about the trades I take. Okay, I don't want to take those big swingy price action trades. I want deliberate price action within that trend. Okay, so first thing, we need a trend, right? We need to look for stocks that are trending. We need to identify the trend by marking up the trend. And we need to focus on these patterns that continue to develop over and over within the trend. And by the way, this is the pop out of the box type pattern. This is the pullback opportunity pattern. Both within that same trend, multiple trade entries. Now, the reason this works so well for me is I don't have to predict anything. What I have to do is mark up a chart and wait for the trade. There's no prediction required. I already have a trend and I have a firm belief in this that there's no easier way to make money in the market than finding a chart that's already trending and just wait for the next entry. Now, I've made a career out of doing this. 90% of all of my trades are these two patterns, the pop out of the box and the pullback opportunity. And they're very high probability trades with very low risk to the entry point. Okay. And you can see that stocks will repeat these patterns over and over and over and over. Okay, that nice tight consolidation. Now here's that example where patience is important. Stock moves up, gets this ugly pullback, comes right back. One thing I want you to notice, people will look at this candle and say, oh, everything's bad now, that big ugly candle, everything's bad with McDonald's. That big ugly bearish candle ended up meaning nothing because it had no follow through. We recovered. Here's a mistake that a lot of people make with a pop out of the box pattern. They'll see a candle like this early on in the trade. They won't recognize the trend. And which, by the way, this trend, we didn't know where it was until this occurred over here. So you're constantly watching this trend. Where is this consolidation going to land? Where are we going to find that confirmation? Early on like this, when you get that pop like this, you have to be really cautious and careful. Because oftentimes that first pop, we find more selling, it pulls back and it moves over to trend. Take a look at this one right here. Little consolidation, there's the pop, and what happens? The stock still finds its way back to the trend. Now, I don't know why that happens so much of the time, but it does. And if you're not recognizing the current trend, if you're not paying attention to that, you can get caught in these traps where we've broken too soon to the upside. It's a false break. And then we get the pullback into the trend. Now, typically, you, if you set your stop loss correctly in this, you can still hold on to this trade and be okay. But who wants to hold a trade four, five, six, seven, ten more days while the stock kind of consolidates and goes sideways? Okay. And then begins to fall apart. Okay. So we want to make sure we're paying attention and entering these trades at the right time. Okay. 
So there's several ways that I look for these patterns. One of these patterns, this pattern, if I look at just a three line moving average chart, I find these patterns pretty easily in a three line moving average chart. What I've got here is a three exponential moving average, an eight exponential moving average, and a 34 exponential moving average. The 34 exponential is only there to show me trend. Is it pretty clear in here that McDonald's is trending? Anyone have any, have any shadow of a doubt looking at this chart that McDonald's is trending? Any problem with identifying that? So what we want to do is we want to identify that nice, strong, strong trend. And with that belief system that I have, you may not share it yet, but hopefully you will soon, is there's no easier way to make money than just find that stock that's proving it wants to trend and waiting for the next entry into the trade. Now, I'll tell you, identifying these trades just on three moving averages isn't, actually, isn't as hard as you think. Because what we see is we see these nice little resting periods on that three exponential moving average. That three just kind of goes sideways. And all it does is it consolidates above that eight. What's happening here in reality is all we've done is we've stretched this a little bit too far away from the 34. And we just need a period of rest for the 34 to catch up, to catch its breath, to start that give us that opportunity to move higher. Right Way Options folks will tell you that I said this today, early on in the day, looking at a 15 minute chart after that big pop in the Dow, here's a 15 minute chart. How many would, uh, that's in here, just type a Y if you remember me saying this. It could be possible that we could consolidate all the rest of the day until that 34 EMA has a chance to catch up. And that's all that occurred here. We had that resting period in the market on that diamonds 15 minute, just so that big move could be consolidated and all the averages had a chance to just catch up. Okay, so I can identify those right here. And I used to have scans to help me find this. To find this very simple pattern. Okay, where we get these three consolidations over the eight, squeezing in on the 34. Okay, but I don't have to do that anymore because we use something that's called the LTA scan scanner, live trading alert scanner. This is something that um, we created here in Hit Run Candlesticks, Right Way Options. And actually, Ed, if you look up there, the guy, the guy up there, second second in the in the list up there, he is the guy who actually created this. He's the guy responsible. He's a brilliant guy when it comes to programming, writing scans, those kind of things. And the live trading alert searches for this pattern automatically. Automatically. Now, Ed posted a list of stocks that were showing this pattern or developing this pattern. Now, I assume Ed ran it against a daily chart. Let me look. AABA. Do you guys see a tight consolidation going on here in AABA? That possibility that in this tight consolidation, we're setting up that range where there's no buyers above, no sellers below, and overall, the stock is trying to move up. We had this big explosive move to the upside. Let's take a look at this chart on the daily. Do you think all that was happening here after this big explosive move is we were just resting for this to catch up to the 34, catch up to that major support area. So any time now, AABA 
could actually establish its trend. If we had that good popping signal that occurred over here in the chart, where that stock pops up, that gives me an opportunity to enter this trade, place a stop loss with relatively low risk in the position for that next move higher in the trade. And I will tell you the longer, the longer that consolidation lasts, typically, typically the stronger the move that occurs. Okay, let me show you another one that I mentioned um, a few Sundays ago during um, a live Sunday night thing where I was giving out some stock ideas. Um, Yeti was right here. Yeti had moved up, pulled back, had that volatility in that move, but then noticed the pop out of the box pattern that occurred right here that nice tight consolidation that occurred right here. And I told everyone about this on a Sunday, which I believe we were looking at this. That was a Friday candle. On Monday, we got this candle and then this occurred. That big pop, that one day pop, had you caught that trade, had 9%, almost 10% of a move in that. If you traded that with an option, you had a 20, 25%, maybe bigger winner than that. In just that one day, in that one day pop, that move, and we were alerted to that because I found this chart and then placed this price alert on here to alert me when it broke through. Okay? Notice how I got the convergence here of trend and price support. If I pull this back, you'll see the price support in this chart. I got that convergence right here that provided that nice move up all at once. Now they don't typically move just all in one day like that, but you get these nice sustained moves from time to time. The reason it went all at once and stopped right there is obviously this big resistance up here in the chart. But it, does anyone have any trouble with a 10% move on a stock trade in one day? I would hope not. Okay. Let's take a look at that CMG that Ed pointed out. CMG. Is CMG trending? Do you guys see the trend? Do you see any problems here? Is there any de denying this stock is trending? So let's take a look at the price action in here. So far, we've only had about three days of this little consolidation in here. In fact, someone mentioned this to me today asked me what I would do with this. I said, well, first off, let's recognize where the trend is. The trend is here. It's possible this could move up from here and change that trajectory of that trend, right? But it's also possible and probable that this may just move over into the trend before it goes. See how the stock likes to react around its trend? So we wait for that trend to occur. So how do I go about doing that? Pretty simple. I place a line on a chart. I decide where I want to be alerted. Sometimes you guys will see me alert this. I might not use those wicks because I want to catch it if it pops quick. Sometimes I will use the wicks if they line up nice and tight like this one does. So I'll place an alert right here. I always turn my alerts pink so everyone can see them on my charts. And I set the alert. Okay, that's all I have to do. I don't have to look at this chart again. 
I know that I have a trending chart. I know I have the potential of a pop out of the box pattern. Now I just have to wait for the chart to alert me when that goes to take that opportunity in that trade higher. Does that make sense, guys? <clears throat> so waiting for those trades to occur. Let's take a look at another one of those charts that Ed posted, MLM. MLM, moving up in a trend getting this little resting place in here. We have this box that's starting to be formed around these price, this price action. Okay, now I can look at this chart in several different ways. First, I could recognize that maybe this trend is trying to establish itself here. More recently, I would have to draw my trend right here. If I draw in my trend here, do you guys see how this could actually go sideways a couple more days before it goes up? And the fun thing about the pop out of the box is you don't have to rush. You can identify these trades ahead of time. Notice the pop out of the box patterns right in here and right in here. You don't have to rush into the trade. The trade is actually working to come to you in this pattern. Okay? So let me explain to you just a little bit about the LTA scanner. Okay? Now, I know we don't have a whole lot of new folks here. There's a lot of folks from hit and run candlesticks and right way options. But writing a scan to find this pattern can be somewhat difficult because there's so many different variable, variables. Well, Ed has done that. And all we have to do is run the scan. If you look in the LTA scanner, let's say I want to just run against my user-defined list. I could run against any one of these. All I have to do is come over here and pick the pop out of the box. Pop out of the box. There's a pop out of the box breakout, a pop out of the box, or a pop out of the box breakdown. Okay, the pop out of the box breakout is looking for that stock that's breaking out. I tend to look for this pattern because I want to find that pattern as it's developing. I don't want to be chasing a trade after it's already moved. I want to be getting into that trade as it's occurring. And you see, there's a big difference, right? If you were to use that um, stock Yeti and you use the pop out of the box breakout, this may be alerting way beyond the past the time where you really should be jumping into that trade. The risk is too high. If I look for the pop out of the box as it's forming, then I can look over the trade, plan out the price action of that trade, and wait for that trade to occur. Okay, and the LTA scanner, once you set up the scan, And really, I, I'm almost done with this scan. Um, I have to give it a name. I've chosen my list. I, I have to pick out the time frame I'm going to scan. Notice it's showing 31 symbols right now. You can combine this with another scan. We could say at the same time, we want to make sure that we have a bull trend. Bullish trend. Okay, I'm going to click on this right here and then click this, that this part of the scan must be true. Notice that if I rescan this, we're still showing 31 symbols. 31 symbols showing this pattern. We have a bullish trend and we have a pop out of the box potential pattern. 
Okay. 31 potential opportunities to trade. I look for these new highs on a daily chart, but you can search this pattern on any time frame. I showed you on the diamonds where one could be setting up on the 15 minute chart right now. This pattern occurs in any time frame. Just follow the trend. And then all I have to do in this is I have to um, go ahead and create the window. And when I create the window, a window, this isn't the pop out of the box scan. This is a Heiken Ashy scan. Pops up and all day long, this is searching automatically for the pattern, the requirement that I want, and it's populating stocks that I should look at. Here's how my pop out of the box on my optionable list, which is a list of stocks that are only in my optionable list that I know have good quality options. And you can see it was registering Starbucks a lot today. Starbucks, Verizon, ABT. These are stocks that are alerting for the pattern right now. You saw Bob S. took the trade in Starbucks today. Let me get back over here. Starbucks. Do you guys see the pop out of the box pattern? Can it be any clearer why Bob took this trade? Stock moving over to its trend, bullish engulfing candle, right off a trend, right where we would expect that trade to execute. Occurring today. Now let me ask you guys a question. Let me ask Bob a question. Bob, if you're still listening. Do you think the Starbucks trade will make you 97 bucks? Probably more than that, right? Considerably more than that. In fact, it already has. Thank you, Bob. For 97 bucks a month, you get this kind of data. This kind of data that brings you these trades, brings them right to you. Okay. Now, I know for some folks, if you're new to trading, um, you're just not sure what you want in your trading toolbox, those kind of things, 97 bucks a month seems like a big ask. But first, let me explain how this occurs. First, we have to buy, collect that data, okay, that's being, being populated by the markets, okay, the trading that's going on. All that data has to come in to our servers. I think Ed told me we're now rocking eight full servers. Okay, eight full servers that this data comes in, we crunch the numbers and immediately send it out to you in these windows. Okay, in these windows. By the way, there's a lot more information in here than what I show. There's when the price alerted, and you know all kinds of data in here about when it occurred, what time it occurred, all the different criteria that you might want to set up in that trade. Okay, I, I only look at this. I'm only worried about the ticker itself. What's alerting right now in the trade? So I keep my windows relatively narrow like that. But we're sending that out to you instantly. And here's the cool thing. You don't have to run. You can't, you don't need to just say, okay, pop out of the box is the only pattern I want to trade. You can certainly do that, but you can run the pop out of the box pattern, scan, and a bunch of other scans all at the same time automatically. That data comes to you automatically. Okay. Okay. 
comes to you automatically in the scan. Now, we've talked about how the LTA scanner, and by the way, LTA stands for Live Trading Alerts. Okay. It's called live trading alerts because the data is live. It's streaming to you live. All right. You get instantaneous results from multiple scans at the same time. You don't have to think about what scan might be working today. Run that scan and sort through a list. LTA is going to go grab those stocks and populate these windows with those stocks for you to look at. OK, and honestly, it can't be easier once you set up these scans and we will help you set up these scans, which is a really good segue in telling you that on Thursday, guys, Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Ed will be doing a live class on the LTA scanner in this room, room three. OK, so if you have any questions about it. He's going to be there to answer. Not only that, the room is open every single market day. If you have questions, problems, need support on this, want Ed to help you write a scan specifically for you. He's monitoring this room all market day to help out those folks, those traders, needing some help on LTA. But honestly, it can't be any easier. Once you set up the windows, the windows that you want, literally, I turn it on in the morning, it just runs. I shut it off at night. I turn it on in the morning and it runs. It finds me trades. Okay, now with all of this data, do you guys think you could find one trade in here? Just one trade over the course of a month that could make you at least double 97 bucks a month. One trade. Some of the scans available, well, there's tons of them. And how many how many scans are there now? I'm not really sure how many scans there are. There are a ton. And there's almost an unlimited number of combinations of scans. Here's a list of the scans. that's already pre-built. And if you need something different, if you can explain it to Ed, if you can get him the details of what you're looking for, he can probably create a scan, custom build it so that you can have it. So these scans are already written. We can find candle patterns. We can find J-hook patterns. We can find the TTM squeeze. We can find rounded bottom breakouts. We can find pullbacks. We can find moving average crossovers. We can find all kinds of trends. Bull tweezer bottoms. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. The number of scans that you can run. Okay. And then, like I said, if there's something in here that you don't understand or a scan that you specifically would like to have, you can talk to Ed in room three. And like I say, if you can explain it, he can probably create something to find it. Okay. So, Ed, would you do me a favor? Would you post the link? and the discount code for the folks here. Now, members get a special rate, $97 a month. We sell this to the general public at $147 a month. Okay. You're here tonight. You can sign up for this and pick up the LTA scanner for $97 a month. Okay, 
click on that link when you fill out the form just make sure you put privilege in the coupon code the promo code area to get your discount to $97 a month now if you cannot find I, I, I for me I used to run lots of scans. I use TC2000. I love TC2000. Highly recommend TC2000. I never run a scan in TC2000 anymore. And the reason is because all of my scans are automatically populating in my LTA scanner. I don't have to do anything else. Let me run you a quick video. I'll wait for this to load up here. This is a video that I took. This data is three or four weeks old. Okay, I'm just gonna play this. This was a market open of the scans that I have running. And you can see, and by the way, it's not updating to your screen very quickly. <laughs> it looks herky-jerky on your screen. It's actually running smooth on my screen. But you can see how it's updating these potential trade signals. Yes, that's a loophole that we have in it, Bill. If you leave the service, it stays at 97 a month. It's a, yeah, what Ed is saying, it's a standalone software. You don't need anything else to operate it. And in fact, it's a very simple to use program. Now, it wasn't simple to create that program. In fact, we aggravated the heck out of Ed. <laughs> Got to make this simpler. <laughs> and now it's extremely simple. It's very simple to set up a scan, follow through the process. And what's fun about this for me, um, well, I think now that I have the scans that I use most of the time on there, I just shut off the software at the end of the day. I turn it back on in the morning and it starts working again. I don't have to recreate the scans. I don't even have to think about it anymore. They just pop up and start running. All that data just keeps coming to me live. And I get to sort through which ones I believe are the best stocks, set up potential trades, and put those trades together. Okay. So if you don't like the pattern that I just showed you, the pop out of the box pattern, no problem. What pattern do you like? Do you like the pullback opportunity? Do you like a J-hook pattern? Is it a moving average crossover that you're looking for? Is there something specific in your pattern that you're looking for that we can create that scan for you? So you can find that trade every time. So one of the reasons I don't run any scans in, in TC2000 anymore is because I'm more efficient. Okay. I'm more efficient with my day. I don't have to figure out what scan is working today, run a scan, flip through a whole list of stocks. Where we get the data, Sal, is proprietary. But believe me, it's good sound data. Ah, uh, Tim, good, good um, question. You assume it'll work in the Heike and Ashy candle? Yes, it will. The <clears throat> the difference with the Heike and Ashy is is considerable in that pop out of the box pattern because actually the patterns themselves are more defined okay so if we can identify these patterns you can easily find these potential entry signals as we pop out of that little pattern right there okay So it does work on a hike and ashy. And the other thing is it works on any time frame. If you want to scan for the pop out of the box pattern on a five minute chart, you can do that with LTA. 
If you want to do it on a one minute chart, you can do it on LTA. If you want to look for it on a weekly chart, you can do it on LTA. So you can pick this up in any time frame that you want. Any way that you want to look at that chart, that data. Okay. It's there. Okay. So if you prefer a shorter term chart, you prefer a 15 minute chart. LTA can find you this pattern right here. Right here. Both of those trending moves pop out of the box patterns that made money. Okay. Now for me, it's made me just so much more efficient in my work. In fact, it saved me a lot of time. Um, everyone here in LTA or right way options knows that what I used to do is take my watch list and at a minimum with a multiple watch list that I, that I had, I would flip through these three to four times a day. This is a list of 300 stocks that I'm flipping through three plus times a day, looking for those patterns to develop. That takes some time. Okay. Makes for a very busy day where you don't accomplish a whole lot except flip through charts. Now I'm really efficient at flipping through charts. I can identify these patterns very, very quickly just by eye because I've done it for so long. But I don't have to do that anymore because LTA just brings me the trade. I take a quick look at it and say, yeah, I like that one. And I don't like that one. If I like the chart, I lay it out, I plan the trade, I put it all together, and I wait for the trade to trigger. Okay. Uh, Gwen, you actually really don't, I can't imagine why you would need that so much. Um, and the reason I say that is because you're actually picking the pattern. I use a, I use a pattern that I call the 3-8 trap. Okay. Um, and different, different strategies and different things. This is a pop out of box bull trend here again, but I use a pattern called the three, eight trap or whatever. And if you want to know what this pattern is to identify this pattern, whoops, all you have to do is click on here and there's a description of what that pattern is. Okay. It, it gives you a description of what we're searching for. So, I can understand what you're, what you're trying to do is learn a different pattern, right? We'll pull up that in the LTA scanner, read what we're looking for in the scan, go ahead and run it, and it'll help you learn to identify that pattern. It's a great educational tool as well. Uh, Tim, you can set up that 3-8 line. This is just, let me show you this. This is just um, a standard chart. I just shut the price off. It's a standard chart that I put a 3, an 8, and a 34 exponential moving average on. And then I shut off the price. That's all you have to do to create that. At this point, no, we don't plan to offer any futures data, Nicholas. The majority of the folks that we run into, the vast majority of folks trade stocks, ETFs, and stock options. And so that's where the the we're prominent, you know, mostly focused. It's kind of a small niche group. 
of uh, futures traders. Obviously, there's quite a few um, uh, futures traders, but it's kind of that little niche group, and we're not we're not offering data for that yet. Does it mean if we had a bunch of interest or something in the future that we might offer it? But as of now, we don't have that kind of an interest for it. Can you scan for various patterns in certain price ranges? Yes, you can. Okay. Now guys, if you're not ready to make that decision on the LTA scanner tonight, I want you to be here in this room, room three, use that same link, come back here. 2 p.m. on Thursday, okay, where you'll get a whole bunch more information about the LTA scanner. You can ask Ed questions directly. He's answering them here now. But we'll, you, you can get more information about the LTA scanner. But I got to tell you guys, I don't know. Sometimes it, 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 it's um, one of those things that kind of fascinates me. When you have something, uh, in, in the trading world, we're in business to make money, right? This is our business, to find good quality patterns and trade them. That's what we do. And we're showing you something that for $97 a month can do that work for you. You just have to make the decision to follow the trades or not. 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Jay, yes. 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Thursday. Now, if you're a business and you have, a, have an employee that costs you 97 bucks a month that brings you repeated trade opportunities that can pay for itself over and over and over, I got to tell you, this was one of the easiest decisions in the world for me. Take that workload off my shoulders and just bring me the trades. I'm all in for that. It's the easy button. Okay. So do yourself a favor. Tonight you get the opportunity to try it for 97 bucks. If you're a member, you can always get it for 97 bucks. If you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options, tomorrow it's 147 bucks. Make that decision. Hire that employee that's going to bring you these trades. And we will work with you to try and help you establish what you need to do to make these trades happen. Okay? Any other questions on the pop out of the box or the LTA scanner? I got to tell you that pop out of the box is one of my favorite patterns. It, it, sometimes you find a chart and that pattern will just repeat itself um, over and over and over and over and over and over. Take a look at a stock like Visa. Just pull back opportunities and pop out of the box patterns, repeating themselves over and over and over. Take a look at Travelers. Pop out of the box patterns, just repeating themselves over and over and over in these charts. Making for simple, easy, profitable trades. Okay. Uh, good question, SP. How do you make the entry? Let's go back to that MCD. Okay. Now remember, the great part of this trade is if we wait for this pattern to develop and the stock moves over toward the trend. Okay. We don't want to jump too early on this. We want to get that, that convergence 
of the trend and the tight consolidation. Okay. So let me ask you here, if you jumped a little bit early and bought this stock here, would you have lost money on this trade? No. If you bought that stock here, would you have lost money on that trade? No. Okay, so here's the thing that I always tell people about making that entry. During this period of time in the market, the market was seriously trending up, confidently trending up. Everything was moving up during that period of time. If I'm confident in the direction of the market, the strength of the market, when stocks like this pop, I take the trade. As soon as it breaks, I take the trade. And the reason I do that is because my stop loss is close. It's tight. I don't have to take a lot of risk in the trade. Right? One of the major mistakes I made for years and years and years is because that I was waiting for so much confirmation that the stock was going to go up. I'd end up buying it late. And we'd get one of these stock would move up three days gap up here this and then pull back and i would stop myself out and the reason is is because i just took a trade where my risk is now this big rather than this big okay so if i have that nice tight consolidation and that bullish signal comes in I'm most often going to take those if I'm confident in the direction of the market as soon as they as soon as they happen. <clears throat> but let me ask you guys today, are you confident in the direction of the market today? Yeah. Probably not, right? So if you're not confident in, in the direction of the pattern, it's okay to wait for that follow through. We get a popping candle like this and maybe wait for that next morning to see if it follows through to the upside. But the only reason I prefer to take it here is because my stop loss is tighter. I take less risk on that trade. Okay. Now, by the way, this pattern works just as well in downtrending markets. When stocks downtrend, every time frame, they make this kind of pattern underneath the trend. So we have a downtrend, stock moves down, consolidates over, continues down. repeats itself to the downside as well, over and over and over. Okay, makes for great short trading as well. So you, it's this isn't just a long only pattern. Okay. Evelyn, I agree. Yeah, not much edge to be had here with this volatility. <clears throat> Okay. These are the kind of things we look at every single day, the kind of patterns we trade all the time. And it's one of the reasons we have pretty high win-loss ratio, around 70%. Because we're very conservative about the trades we take. We're very picky about the trades we take. We wait for the pattern develop to develop. We wait for the trade to come to us. Okay.
Um, AL, AL, one of the things that I do <clears throat> is limit the number of stocks that I'm looking at, that I'm having it scan. You'll find that the majority of my trades, like here's a rounded bottom breakout pattern that we trade a lot, that I'm only looking at my user defined list, which is about 300 stocks. I self limit the number of stocks I'm scanning. Now, the reason I do that and I can do that so effectively is I'm only looking for stocks that have really good options. Notice right here, we have a selection here. If you're an option trader, just click that. This will give you the list of the top options by volume in the CBOE, from the CBOE. It'll tell you these options have, or these stocks have good options. So that's all I'm looking for most of the time. I'm looking for that narrow list. The other thing that you can do to, to shorten up that list, are you, are you in the position where you can trade um, like CMG? Can you do a lot of CMG trading? I don't know if you're a stock trader or an option trader. Even if you are an option trader, CMG might be out of your wheelhouse. Why waste your time looking at it? There's no sense in, in looking at a stock like that or wasting your time if you can't afford it. So eliminate that from the list. And you can do that by limiting the stock prices that you want to look at. Okay? The stocks that you put in your user-defined list. Okay? We don't want to waste time with stocks we can't afford. That's another way to reduce the number of alerts coming in. Okay. Keeps that list much more concise. Okay. Cool. Um, actually, I've defined my list a little bit more Stella than just the CBOE top 300. Um, I've gone through more than 300 stocks in the CBOE list, and I'm looking... Um, looking through that data, looking for the stocks that I like um, that have really good option volume. So it's not always just the top 300. Sometimes I have, it, it may be 450 on the list, but it has good options, good price action, good trend. So I put it in my watch list to pay attention to. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. One thing I'd like to ask you guys to do, if you could help me out here, I'm going to um, give you a link. If you guys still are unsure, I'd like you to go over there and subscribe to my YouTube channel because on my YouTube channel, I post a lot of information about the different patterns, the setups, the training is free. Okay, I've got over 600 videos on YouTube. Go over there and subscribe. Stay in touch with us so that we can let you know when we do these events like this. And there may be another opportunity if you haven't decided that today's the day you want to do it. Okay. But you want to stay involved here. And I just, I honestly... Once you run LTA scanner, I'm confident. Once you run the LTA scanner, you will never want to go back. Because it just it just makes you more efficient in your work. It makes the job easier. 
Um, yes, you can run a scan any time, you know, at night. It'll give you a list of stocks to look for. I get this question a lot. What if you work full time? Or you work part time during the day, you can't watch the market all day? I just tell people to turn on the LTA scanner and let it run. Because when you do get a chance to go look at it, just leave it on. It's already built a watch list for you. We think it's a really cool tool. And we're excited about it to be able to offer it out to other traders. Yeah, it's not it's not a big data. If you're asking SP if it if it's going to require a lot of data holding on your machine, it's not. Okay. It it yeah, it runs through. You're not going to bog your machine down. It's a live stream of data. Okay. Hey, by the way, there are several folks who have private messaged me here. Just so you know, it's it's a if you have a question that you want me to answer, please post it in the chat. I I, I have so many live or private messages blinking across my screen. I have to close some to just get to the others. So if you have a question that's burning, you know, burning in your mind, other people do as well. So please ask it in the room. Okay. If not, if it is something truly private, when we finish up, I'll try to get to those questions. The other thing I should mention to you guys is the LTA scanner is always, always evolving. We'll add a scan, we'll add a tweak, we'll add something to make it better, to refine it, to make it better. Here's the fun thing about the LTA scanner. <laughs> you shut off the LTA scanner, if there's an update, it will automatically update, and it's ready for the next time you turn it on. You don't have to do anything else. It automatically updates on its own. You don't have to go through a process of downloading and, and installing and doing all that. It just automatically up updates the application so when you turn it on the next time, it's ready to go. Oh, thanks, Tim. That's very kind of you. How does it build the watch list? As the alerts come in, it saves that watch list. You can see what's been alerting in the, in the market. You have multiple watch lists of all different kinds of patterns. You have more stocks than you could potentially trade. Your watch list is complete. You just have to go through the stocks. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate that about the YouTube channel. Yeah, please do. You know, subscribe to that YouTube channel. Stay in touch with us and, and learn these patterns because I, I firmly believe you'll get more out of this than you could imagine. Okay? And that pop-out-of-the-box pattern that we, we talked about, the, the pullback opportunity, I have, I have a lot of those videos... Um, right on the YouTube channel, okay? In fact, I did a video just the other day on moving average patterns, okay? Using simple chart like this, I discussed how these patterns set up great trades, and that video is on YouTube. Okay? Okay? 
Lots of free education. So guys, I want to thank you for being here tonight. I truly appreciate it. Yep, moving average patterns for profit, profitable. Actually, I made a mistake. It should be moving average patterns for profitable results. And I need to update that title so it's correct. <laughs> it's a typo on my part. <laughs> thank you guys very much. I appreciate you being here. Seriously, I hope you take advantage of this $97 offer on LTA. And I hope you got a pattern here that you can actually see works over and over and over. RWO folks, right way options, hit run candlesticks folks, would you guys say the pop out of the box pattern just plain works? It's just like any, there's not, they're not 100% winners, are they? But the pattern is easily identifiable. and easy to trade. Okay, learn how to use that pattern. Get the LTA scanner to help you find them and you're set up. Uh, Steve, Thursday, that Thursday session, all of the learning sessions that we do are recorded. As a matter of fact, all of the LTA learning sessions are already on the website where you can watch. Go over there right now. You see there's a whole list of videos about the LTA scanner. Education on the scanner. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I do appreciate it a ton for you being here tonight. If you picked up LTA, congratulations to you. We look forward to working with you. Everyone take care. Have a great evening. And we'll see you right back here, room three, 2 o'clock p.m. on Thursday if you want to learn more about LTA. Otherwise, I'll see you bright and early at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll be back at my desk doing the morning market prep video for everyone that subscribes to the YouTube channel. Take care. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.